Example 2. Find and determine the type of stationary points of fx is equal to 4x plus 9 over x by using first derivative test. So, first we have to find the f prime x. So, f prime x is equal to 4 minus 9 over x square. When f prime x is equal to 0, so 4 minus 9 over x square is equal to 0. Equalize the denominator, so we have 4x square minus 9 over x square is equal to 0. So 4x square minus 9 is equal to 0. 4x square is equal to 9. So x square is equal to 9 over 4. So x is equal to positive negative 3 over 2. Or x is equal to positive 1.5 or negative 1.5. When x is equal to 1.5, so substitute x is equal to 1.5 into the fx. So we have 4 times 1.5 plus 9 times 1.5 to the power of negative 1. So the answer is 12. When x is equal to negative 1.5, substitute x is equal to negative 1.5 into the function fx. So we have 4 times negative 1.5 plus 9 times negative 1.5 to the power of negative 1. So we have negative 12. Now we have two stationary points. So the stationary points are 1.5, 12 and negative 1.5, negative 12. So when x is equal to 1.5, so we have x less than 1.5, x is equal to 1.5, and x greater than 1.5. So we take the test value of x. For the x less than 1.5, we have x is equal to 1. And for the x greater than 1.5, we have x is greater than x is equal to 2. Substitute the test value of x into the dy over dx. So when we substitute x equal to 1 into the dy over dx, we have a negative number. When we substitute 1.5 into the dy over dx, we have 0. And when we substitute x equal to 2 into the dy over dx, we have a positive number. When the dy over dx is a negative number, then the value of y is decrease. And when dy over dx is a 0, then the value of y is a constant. And when dy over dx is a positive number, then the value of y is increased. So we have a minimum graph with 1.5 to as a minimum point. So 1.5 to is a minimum point. So when x is equal to negative 1.5, so we have x less than negative 1.5, x is equal to negative 1.5, and x greater than negative 1.5. So take the test value of x. So for x less than negative 1.5, we have x is equal to negative 2. For x greater than negative 1.5, we have x is equal to 0. 
substitute the value of x into the dy over dx. So when we substitute x equal to negative 2 into the dy over dx, so we have a positive number and 0 when we substitute x equal to negative 1.5. And when we substitute s equal to 0 into the dy over dx, we have negative number. So when dy over dx is a positive number, the value of y is increased. When dy over dx is equal to 0, the value of y is a constant. And when dy over dx is a negative number, the value of y is decreased. So we have a maximum point. Negative 1.5, negative 12. Therefore, negative 1.5, negative 12 is a maximum point. So, we have learned that there are two types of stationary points. The maximum point... And the second one is the minimum point. And both of the maximum point and minimum point is called extremum point. The types of stationary points can be determined by first derivative test. For the exercise, find the stationary point for the curve below and distinguish maximum or minimum value by using first derivative test. Submit your solution to your lecturer.